Hello everyone, and welcome back to our jungle expedition here in the wilds of the South American mountains, where our expedition team is aided and watched over by their wonderful growing herd of llamas. And we actually recently had a lot of llama babies, so I'm hoping we'll be able to take a layabout llama day pretty soon and be able to name all of the little ones to see how many more may be added to the golden llama temple that we have been building and to spend some time expanding their territory. I'm really hoping we can give them a much bigger area to relax in soon. But alas, the work of the expedition distracts us and continues to pile up. And today we are actually going to carry on with some very special expedition research by studying the legend of the golden red-eye tree frogs even more. So yes, last time I was so tired and I appreciate you guys joining me. Oh wow, he was really climbing. Don't climb on the ruins, sir. These are thousands of years old. <laughs> but last time I was very tired, but I appreciate you guys joining me and helping me out as we dove into our brand new cave. It is so freaking dark in here too. I really hope that we'll be able to get this place lit up with lights because right now it is so hard to see like where we are going, but we have added in two new exhibits for the golden red-eye tree frogs so that we'll be able to get more of the scraps of history. We'll be able to find more of the ruined pieces that will put together the puzzles that will allow us to go on successful expeditions. <gasps> Quiet has fried, or died, oh my gosh, oh no. All right, quiet, the royal tree frog has died. We're going to have to go and see what the elder royal frogs are up to. But basically, we're trying to focus on making our red-eyed tree frogs even healthier, happier, getting their genes a little bit more varied, and having more ponds like the ones we just added into the big golden lake. We're going to call this the, gold, the Lake of Gold Cave. But we added in one new temple and two smaller quote-unquote ponds that we will be putting the frogs into to try to bring their numbers up because in order to go on a successful expedition as you guys know we have to have six red-eye tree frogs to put together the six correct pieces of the treasure puzzle but we can always go on an expedition with just one piece of the puzzle or anywhere from one to six pieces of the puzzle and have a chance of finding what we're looking for or a chance of finding something completely unexpected. So that's kind of where we're at right now. And I figured instead of like continuing to find hyenas and find Amazonian giant centipedes, when we actually wanted to find capuchin monkeys and we actually wanted to be able to find like the giant ant eaters, better to get these ponds set up so that we have proper breeding facilities for the red-eyed tree frogs. So I already went through and I looked at all of the red-eyed tree frogs. Also, are you people having some issues? Is it this? Does that help? Okay, that helped, I think. Uh, are you guys okay? All right, we might have to like help them out here because they appear to be having some problems. Here, we'll, we'll fix this. We'll make this a little wider actually. So let's actually increase the width of this part of- oh dear, I did not want to do that. Why do paths have to be so cruel? Here, we'll increase the width of the path there. And there. And from here to here. There. Alright, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. You can figure it out now. I put down even more beautiful gold, like, brick. Who doesn't want to stroll along golden brick? Like, come on, this is just beautiful. It's my favorite path ever. Uh, but alright, so we are going to focus on making sure that all of the frogs are healthy. I went through and paired off frogs that are going to be good mates with each other in every single one of the ponds and the temples. So we should have hopefully nothing but golden babies born all over the place. And I remembered something. Some of our frogs are becoming elders. So we already have to replace Royal Frog Sun and Royal Frog Moon because they are seven years old. Normally the red-eye tree frogs live until they are five. So these guys are already two years past their like, expi like expected expiration date, to put it gently. So why waste the golden frog? They are fertile until death. But uh, when they die, could be any minute after they are five years old. So why not go ahead and retire our royal frogs 
So we'll have Royal Frog, Sun, and Moon go ahead and retire into the Trade Center. And, oh, Queen Desiree is about to mate! <gasps> Queen Desiree mm -hmm. and King Abir are welcoming in yet another set of cubs. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I wasn't sure if they would actually pull that off. Queen Desiree is so old as well. She's 21. I hope she can live to having another litter with King Abir. He did arrive because, you know, her other cubs grew up and she was ready to go ahead and have more. Oh, that's so exciting. All right, well, let's come over here. And so what we're going to do is we have removed the old royal tree frogs, who are the elders, sun and moon, and we're actually going to have them be retired. Now that they are so old, we'll, we'll say we're putting them loose into one of the ponds nearby. Like maybe we're releasing them into this adorable little pond, right? And we'll even make sure to respect the, you know, retired elders by, ooh, I know when we have some elders retire, we could go ahead and quote unquote like respect them instead of just like chuck them out because they're too old to breed. And we'll put down a little gold block somewhere on the ground and just start decorating with chunks of gold to represent like cool ruin pieces. Come on, there's just chunks of gold that show up. <laughs> Why not? So sun and moon are going to retire from giving birth to all the babies for us. And they're going to help us when we release them into the pond, stumble upon two more golden pieces to our treasure map, which will hopefully allow us to go ahead and find more of the animals that we are searching for. I love that idea. We'll sprinkle gold around in a celebration of not only the many, many births that the elder tree frogs have been able to give us over the years, but also in celebration of the fact that when we release them into the rejuvenated, renewed, and beautiful pond that represents a restoration of their land that had been neglected for so long and is finally starting to look good again because we're like taking care of it and cleaning it as we are settling the area for research. Um, let's see. Some goldenrod? Oh, the goldenrod actually looks really good over here. It's not native, but don't worry about that. It, it kind of does look like something you would expect to see tucked into a little pond, doesn't it? Just a couple clumps will be nice. Just a little bit as a treat. I love, I love, I love, I love putting in more plants. There we go. But that'll be a fun way to keep an eye on our tree frogs because they are supposed to be one of the most important features of our jungle expedition. So huzzah! All right, with all of that said, we actually, okay, people don't climb on here, please. But with all of that said, we do actually need to name all of the tree frogs after some of you guys. So let's go ahead and pull them up while we're waiting for them to have more babies. We'll do this. We need seven or we need 12 babies. One, two, three, four. How many do we have? We have nine. So we're waiting until we have 12 red eye tree frogs in total who are gold level so that we can go get a male and a female anteater. That is our goal. So while we wait, and while we wait for the jaguars to be born, uh, why are you guys mad? Oh, Ritsu! Ritsu, what's the matter? Oh, the drink cleanliness! Oh, Ritsu! Oh no, hang in there! Okay. Why are things dirty over here? We've got to take care of our, our hyenas really quick. What the heck? Okay, they've been drinking from filthy places and I didn't even know it. All right, all right. We're going to get an emergency water treatment plant in that will hopefully not antagonize the guests. Negative impact on guests. Pretty severe there. Hmm. All right. What about if I put it over here? Will that be out of the way of the guests? Will it clean their water? It will not clean all of their water. All right. This is terrible. This is ugly. This is not where I want to put it. But we're going to leave the water thing over here because it's out of the way of the guest. Oh, that is not even the design I want to put on it. Ignore this. This is painful to look at. Oh, geez. However, no, no, no. People don't walk over here. I need to make sure we put down just a little staff path right there to connect up. No, I said staff path. There we go. All right. Let's add that into a work zone really quickly. Oh, it's so painfully ugly. 
I can't believe I have to look at this. Actually, guys, fun fact. Um, Mountain Climber George, let's train him more. Fun fact, I am hoping to be able to do some Zoo Flipper episodes on Twitch soon so that we'll be able to start streaming on Twitch doing Zoo Flipper, where we'll probably be paused pretty much the whole time, but fixing things, which will be such a relief just to kind of chill out with each other and talk about animal facts. And then, of course, we'd switch over to Nintendo Zoo to be able to actively play too. And it would also allow us to have a chance to participate in the community challenges during the weeks that they're going again, which I would love to do. Uh, so do go over, check out our link to our Twitch down in the video description. I'm really, we're getting more support over there. And if we get more support over there, I'll be able to start putting more time into it and making beautiful things happen in our zoos. Because we only have so much time every day in our daily episodes of Planet Zoo together. <gasps> Queen Desiree is about to have babies! What the heck? <gasps> Alright, you guys. Let's go ahead and see. We need to move King Abir then. So he's actually going to go back into the Trade Center. And we might actually release him into the full wilds. Not release him into the wild per se. How do I explain this? We might put him back up for trade and say that he's released into the wild because he's a gold level jaguar male. We have had many babies with him. By putting him in the trade center to indicate that he goes away because we don't have a bachelor area for him just yet, we've been able to keep him very young unintentionally. And I, I feel like that's weird. Like we, he should be the same age as Queen Desiree. So I think we'll actually put him up on the market and then that'll help somebody else who needs a wonderful golden jaguar too. But all right, I do believe Queen Desiree is getting ready to give birth. And then we will name her little babies after some of our wonderful patrons, because I have the patron list finally pulled up. Another great way to help out the Pixel Biology Adventures, by the way, guys. All right, Desiree, how many? So far, she's had two cubs every time. <gasps> baby! One baby! Look at that little fuzz bucket, two babies! Oh, she had two more babies again. Congratulations, Desiree. At 21. At 21, she's had these two little cubs. She is like an expert at this. She's had one little boy. And then right over here, she's had a little girl. Oh, they are actually both bronze level. So they'll both be going off into the wild. Oh my gosh, look at them growl. Okay, wait, we absolutely have to take some pictures with them real quick. Hang on, this is too cute. I need some ferns. Give me some ferns, stat. Lady ferns? I mean, that'll do, but I was hoping for like nice big clusters of ferns that we could actually, oh geez. I just wanted a quick cute picture with the cubs. All right, let's get these down. Excellent. Maybe photo opportunities are a good way to do like temporary zoo flipper go. <laughs> Cause I want the pictures to look nice with the little cubs. So it encourages me to actually put some things down. Oh, these are so beautiful. Ferns, ferns everywhere. All right, and then let's go ahead and see anything else we can throw down real quick. Hello, little ones. Some goldenrod, <gasps> some orchids. I am a big fan of orchids. All right, let's see. Don't worry guys, I won't. Oh, moss, absolutely. Let's get some carpet moss down here. Nice, more than happy. Oh, that's so cool. Look at the little mossy path we're making. That is the way to do it, if you ask me. And what's the Ceratopia tree? What does it look like if I put it? Oh, I love the top of this tree. This will make the best bush. Holy cow. I love this tree. I had no idea that it existed. And now I am a thousand. It looks like my umbrella plant. I'm a thousand percent in love with that as a bush to put in the background. Let's actually grab this coconut palm. There we go. See, if you can't find big enough leaves, go for the palm fronds. All right, and then maybe just one or two little colorful plants somewhere. There we go. Just, just to, just a little, just as a treat. I love, I love plants. I love plants. All right, that should be good enough. I think I can restrain. Oh, I love the cowberry too. Just a big giant thing of green. I hope I can restrain myself because <laughs> this is just so fun. 
You can tell I'm having a really good day, by the way, guys, based off how many plants I add in to our daily Planet Zoo episodes. Just FYI. <laughs> it's kind of obvious. I love the elephant grass is just like this wall of grass growing down here. Oh, that's so cool. There, look at how nice we made that look so that we have a beautiful moment with our two brand new little jaguar cubs. There we go. Oh, I love that we have the torch too. The light, aka the torch, turned on so that I can see. Oh, I'll come back here. So I can see where they are. There they are. Oh, you guys are so precious. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm in love. All right, let's go ahead and name these two. And we're actually going to name them after our wonderful patrons. So this little boy is going to be CJ. CJ, there you go. So he's Prince CJ. Uh, we're going to call them, let's see, Prince CJ. That'll be fine. I was thinking maybe we should give them a special name if we know that their future will be as wild. Oh, we can name them wild. Wild princess. There we go. Wild princess. Let's go with Emily. So we have Prince, Wild Prince CJ and Wild Princess Emily. And that will let me know that, oh, we plan to go ahead and release these guys into the wild when they become old enough. Wonderful. And I love this new little nook we made. Nice. All right. So let's carry on. And we are going to pay attention to our wonderful golden red eye tree frogs. And we're going to name these ones after you guys. There we go. So this is going to be Royal Frog Georgia, which is a name that Haley actually suggested. So Royal Frog Georgia will be one of them. And then we'll have Royal Frog Turkey after Crazy Turkey Girl. She's actually one of our wonderful patron community members. She's been in there. Royal Frog Turkey for quite a while and thank you turkey girl i really hope that everyone is doing well and staying safe too i hope you learned something wonderful from our wild adventures in planet zoo let's come over here and name these guys after more of you guys gotta roll that random comment generator all right and we actually have Royal Frog Seville, who is an old frog, so we can move him to the Trade Center and put down a piece of gold to thank him. And then we're actually going to have Royal Frog Hadley. And Hadley, thank you for reminding me that L turns on and off the light. I really wish I had realized that sooner last time. Sorry that last time was so all over the place. Because I was uh, I was very very tired, but we got our we got our adventures done and then we're gonna have Royal Frog Gilmore From G Gilmore and oh no Kelly is about to die of old age And Kelly or er, Gilmore we will actually be going back to Zudesia once we get oh Kelly rest in peace Oh so sad Oh dear, we're gonna have to count later and make sure that we have enough llamas for transporting up and down the mountain Rest in peace, Kelly. But we will be going back to Zudesia uh, Zoo in the future. We're just trying to gather up some expedition goods before we do. So we're taking a break to explore the jungle expedition. And then once we have some really beautiful builds finished, like I'm kind of tempted by Laughing Court. You guys, come on, I'm doing my best. The hyenas, literally the only thing is that their, drink, their like drinks weren't clean. All right, let's try calling a vet. And hopefully, do we have a vet, like, okay, we have a vet surgery. So hopefully the vet will be able to take care of them. And if that still doesn't work, we'll go ahead and put them in quarantine. So we'll see if Laughing Court can be taken care of. But like, I wanna work on making Laughing Court an even better, really, really functional exhibit. And then once we make it a really functional place to be, we'll save it, we will get a couple healthy hyenas, and then we'll go back over to Zudesia Zoo and have those hyenas become part of Zudesia Zoo or Sahula Safari. So the goal in these expeditions is to create masterpiece habitats that we take and make a beautiful mosaic out of in Zudesia Zoo. Hopefully we'll be able to achieve that. All right, I feel really bad for the hyena, but hopefully, oh, now the inspector's here too. Ugh. Hopefully we'll fix that soon. 
All right, let's grab this golden top piece that is way overdue for being on top of this temple. There we go. Oh, I hate the sound of protesters because it means that we've done something wrong for our little animals. We'll take care of them. We already put in the water filtration system. It just takes a minute to run and for the animals to drink something fresh. All right, and a little more this way. And now we have almost... Now we have... Okay, restored the temple. Ah! Almost. All right, where is the top piece? I think we need... No, no, no. I don't want, I don't want to select that. Okay. All right. I want to, nope. Okay. Hang on guys. I will fix that later. That's a zoo flipper problem. <laughs> Little details like that. <laughs> oh dear. I'm actually really looking forward to the idea of being able to do a bunch of zoo flipper episodes with you guys that will just focus on fixing all of these little, little nitty itty bitty pieces that you just need like to move an extra block here to make things just a teensy teensy bit more perfect, right? All right. So did I name this temple already? This is Temple Kali of the Golden Frog. Wonderful. That is named after our patrons. We already have babies over here. Oh my gosh, we might actually have enough for an expedition next time. Ryan and Zalia already have names. So let's come on down here. And oh, we already have babies over here too. You guys, this is wonderful. Eduardo and Fatima need new names. So we're going to have that random comments generator roll again. And this is actually going to be Royal Frog Mudge. Welcome, welcome. Oops, Mudge with a J. Welcome. I hope that you will carry on many wonderful memories here in our jungle expedition. And we're going to have Royal Frog Zoe. There we go. And this entire habitat that they are in is actually going to be called um, Shrine of Kate. One of our patrons. <laughs> so this will be the, the frog shrine. Not a temple, but at least it is going to help us with our adventures. So the frog shrine of Kate. And then over here, we shall have the frog shrine of Glarn. There we go. All right. I'm very happy about that. Glarn. Let me make sure I spelled that right again. Yep. Nice. All right. So now we'll have some more temples where people will have their little shrines. That makes me very happy. Do we have names for these frogs? Got to make sure they're doing good too. Okay. Random comment generator, go! Oh, and now we're going to have Jordan for Royal Frog. Jordan, welcome to the group. And I'm very excited about the idea of maybe giving Princess Song a territory. That is a great idea because she defeated her mom in a fight. She is not gold level like her sister, but it would be kind of fun to have Princess Song around just to have an extra jaguar. Uh, so we'll think about that. We do have to remember we can only make so many habitats depending on how many temples we've uncovered. And also time. <laughs> and then finally, we're going to have Royal Frog Sasha after Jimmy Neutron's suggestion. <laughs> all right, all of the frogs are now named. We have baby jaguars, which is wonderful. Very happy about that. We need to put down some education boards. And then next time, we need to take care of the laughing court for sure and see if we manage to do a successful expedition in the name of finding ourselves some, let's wiggle this in here, in the name of finding ourselves some anteaters. Because I still, I cannot believe we have gone this long without the anteaters. And let's actually see if I can turn this education piece into something fun. There we go. There, I like that a lot. I just want the education piece to kind of like look a little bit more formal. Anything else I want to add to it, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, I know. Maybe one of these gold pieces. Will that fit just right? 
a nice gold piece in front of the shrine to explain what the frogs are all about. Let's see, let's push that in a little and then turn it a little. <gasps> it does fit just right! I just need to scooch it in a little bit more. Excellent! Okay, that's a nice that's a nice way to make a little frog shrine piece. Let's combine that and this will be a nice new group. No no no. New group and this will be frog shrine uh rock. There we go. Excellent. Yay! Alright, and now we can just Oh, this looks so cool even if it's big like this. This is awesome! Okay, so we can just leave another, like, frog shrine rock over here. Oh dear. Yeah, the guy's here. Our inspector's here. He's not happy with what he sees. Sorry, inspector dude. We'll take care of the laughing court next. I've just got a lot going on, okay? Golden frogs. Crumbling temples. It's, it's a lot to take care of. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this makes for great educational pieces, though. And I love the way that it stands out as, like, these these crumbling ruins. There we go. All right, that's a good start, I think. But all right, guys, that's enough for now. Still plenty more to do. Oh, my goodness, is there ever plenty more to do? So we will definitely be taking care of more next time. But if you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful royal tree frogs and the fact that we have now found new ways that we can go ahead and celebrate their existence. And before we go, I won't forget, we had a elder tree frog, an elder royal tree frog. Who needs his final huzzah? So we'll sprinkle a piece of gold. Let's actually sprinkle a piece of gold in the ground at an odd angle. Because I think this would be really funny to just be like, flip, 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 and lean it back a little bit. Because <laughs> why not? It'd be really funny if there was just like a piece of gold sticking out of the ground behind some bushes. There we go. <laughs> oh, memory of royal frogs. And we'll just leave it like that. That's so funny. All right, how are the hyenas still not okay? They actually haven't moved in forever, so I'm a little suspicious that there's something wonky with them. So we will go ahead and make a quarantine for our hyenas next time. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our wonderful jungle expeditions, getting a little messier every time. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. Also check out our Twitch if you want to join in on actually fixing a lot of this in future Zoo Flipper episodes. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.